Alright, you got me right there. He got me with that block. That's that's a beat. That's a good block. I, ah, God. Alright, let's get him back. Come on, let's go. Let's get the ball to pack top keys. Leave me open. Oh, that's a big mistake. I'm gonna blow by you, Magic. Let's go. Step up. Ooh, who's on this poster? LeBron, get on the poster. Wow. Pac-Man sends him a package. Oh, my God. Is Robert Pack the greatest dunker in 2K13? Because I'm starting to believe it after that intro and after what you're going to see in a little bit. But first, let's show you what else he can do. Look at that chase down behind the back block on Derrick Rose in the fast break. And my opponent's going to say, you know what? I want to take another look at that. And he rewinds it and he replays it. And wow, that was awesome. You never get dunks and blocks like that, it seems like, in 2K13. Very rare you get nice chase down blocks. And oof, he's making a statement in his first game that I had with him. And he's going to get one more dunk right here as we are getting to the rim and throwing down a Magic Johnson. But let's go into halftime. And we got a special message from our opponent. Gotta love Shake and Bake. Gotta love Shake and Bake. Even the opponents love Shake and Bake. How could you not? Especially when I'm using someone like Robert Pack. This guy is so goddamn explosive. Look at him again right here. Let's go to the rim and throw it down. Oh my god. At six foot two, 180 pounds, this guy can blow by defenders and just throw it down. And he, I, I gotta think he's at least one of the top five dunkers in this game with a 98 dunk and a 99 vertical. But as you see right here, I'm posting up with David Robinson. The nice turnaround and oof, that was terrible. And LeBron is gonna make me pay right here with this. Oh my goodness. That's a man's jam. He puts Pac right back on a poster of his own. And we're gonna get a quick steal after that. And we're just gonna put it up and get a nice little easy dunk and transition. And then Robert Pack says, you know what? I don't play by the rules. I play to win. And he gets a quick steal and easily we get a nice jumper from Larry Bird. And why that that's not my fault. I wasn't trying to do that. I feel bad. It was a little cheesy, but if Robert Pack's playing to win, he's playing to win. He will do whatever he's got to do. And then includes this soft layup on the other end. Oh my. He had Akeem and LeBron coming at him, but this was still a battle. It was D Rose on one end, and then Pack on the other as he jumps over him. Oh my god. Can you stop this man? He is unstoppable right now. And so is Larry Bird. I mean, I'm not even talking about him, but he's going for 30 as well. And after this big mess of turnovers, which is saved by Larry, yeah, we're going to go to the rim and how you like that, Hakeem? How do you like that? Robert Pack, oh my goodness, just stop it. We need him to calm down. He's dunking on everyone, left and right. We're getting another and one. I don't think you can stop him, and we pulled away right there. It was just a madness, and if you don't have this guy, try and open up some packs and get him. He is a beast in the My Team game mode. And if you put posterizer and highlight film on him, he will be doing 360s poster dunks on everyone. And I mean everyone, as you saw from LeBron in the beginning. But he was still fighting late on in game. And I, I was giving props to him. I mean, if you're going to keep fighting like that, you know what? I respect that. And right here again, I, I'm playing to win. So I'm just going to go to the rim and finish this game with that layup right there. That was it. It was done from there. And... That's the ball game. He gets a nice shot off with Del Curry at the end right here. But it's not going to go in. And whew, I, I mean, if you don't have Rob Pack, seriously. If you ever get this guy, you are the luckiest man on earth. Look at his stats. 13 of 19. That is efficient. I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace. Yo, what's going down everybody? It is straight out of the Boston here, aka the King of Boston. Today, back for round two of the Sports Commentators March Madness, and this video is going to be a rematch of the 2007 Western Conference quarterfinals between the number eight seeded Golden State Warriors and the number one seeded Dallas Mavericks. Now for some quick background information on this series, this is widely considered the greatest upset in NBA history when the 42 and 40 Golden State Warriors knocked off the 60 and 22 Dallas Mavericks in the first round. The Mavericks did have all-stars Josh Howard and Dirk Nowitzki, and Dirk Nowitzki did win the NBA MVP that year. Both of these teams played pretty small during this playoff series. You can see the two centers going at it, Dirk and Al Harrington, before Dirk would lay that one in for two. So now 18-17 Golden State on top, Baron Davis with the ball, gives it to Matt Barnes for three. That one is good. 
That is what this Golden State Warriors team did so much in this 2007 season. They just popped threes for days. But look at the block right there by Matt Barnes on Jerry Stackhouse. Matt Barnes, a defensive specialist, was a very good three-point shooter for this team. Now Kalena Azabuki on the rebound. He's going to outlet to Jay Rich. Jay Rich for three is good. And the Warriors go up by nine now in the second quarter, up by seven. B. Diddy with the ball. He's going to find Peters in the corner for three. And that is good. So the Warriors take a 10-point lead now, but Jason Terry with the ball. Jason Terry is going to lay that one in the hop step, and one. He will go to the line for one more, and he will convert. One of the better free throw shooters in the league now. Andres Beardrich on the boards. Gives it to Jay Rich. Jay Rich. He lobs it up there. Slam dunk. Steven Jackson for two. Let's take another look at this one on the replay right there. Jay Rich lobbing it up to Steven Jackson. Jackson was acquired in January along with Al Harrington. So now Jerry Stackhouse, he's going to dish it off to Eric Dampier, and Dampier lays it in with the left, gets the and one right there, and the Mavericks will tie it up before we go into the half, tied at 53. So a close game so far. The Mavericks need to win this game to force a game seven. The Warriors are looking to move on to the next round and face the Utah Jazz. So now at the start of the third quarter, score is 61-57. Dallas Harris with the ball. Run a little bit of pick and roll here with Dirk Nowitzki. Dishes it off to Nowitzki for the two-handed slam. And the Mavericks extend their lead to six. Now it's a seven-point lead. Harris once again with Nowitzki. This time he's going to give it to Stackhouse, who finds a cutting Josh Howard, the 2007 NBA All-Star. And Howard lays it into a ten-point game. Harris with the ball once again. Running the offense. Running the show for the Mavs. And he gets the floater to go. Floaters are really good this year in 2K. And Harris took advantage of it right there, but Baron Davis with the ball gives it to Matt Barnes for three. It's good, and we cut the lead to two. So now 96 to 90, though, the Mavericks have opened it back up a little bit. But Jay Rich, bang, he gets it to go. A three point game. Good three right there by Jason Richardson, the former dunk contest winner. Now Devin George into Dirk in the post, and Dirk is just about unstoppable in the post, especially in 2007. So 98 93 now is the lead for the Dallas Mavericks. 104 100. Harris with the ball, brings it up. He's going to dish it off to Josh Howard. Howard is going to put that one in, and it's a six-point game once again. Now a five-point game. Ellis with the ball. Monte gives it to Jay Rich. Jay Rich drives in with a one-handed slam. Cuts the lead to three, and the Warriors are not done yet. 108-107 now. Devin George inbounding. He gives it to Devin Harris. We're going to have to foul. Harris would go to the line, and he would make both free throws. So now Petrus to inbound. He gives it to Jackson. Jackson for the tie. It's good. And Steven Jackson has sent this game into overtime. We're tied at 110. And right when we got to overtime, it was three. After three. After three. After three. After three. And the Golden State Warriors finish off one of the greatest upsets in NBA history. And anyway, it's going to wrap up this video for me. So I thank you guys for watching. Hope you did enjoy. And so as I'm out. Peace.